Anita Louise was a notable actress whose performances captivated audiences during her era. Her work stood out for its depth and authenticity, leaving a lasting impression on viewers. What sets her apart from her contemporaries is her ability to imbue each role with a unique blend of emotion and sincerity, bringing characters to life in a way that resonated with audiences. Whether it was her portrayal of a conflicted heroine or a charming leading lady, Anita's talent shone through in every performance. Do you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic actor? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Stay tuned for some funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up, so keep watching this video. Anita Louise, born in New York City, grew up surrounded by art. With her family's support, she pursued acting from a young age, taking part in local plays and school performances. At 17, she landed her first movie role after being noticed by a talent scout. This marked the beginning of her acting career, where she smoothly transitioned from silent films to talkies. Throughout her successful journey, her performances reflected her early stage experiences and her family's support. Her commitment and love for acting led her to important roles in movies and TV shows. Her impact in entertainment shows how talent and persistence pay off. Actress Anita Louise had a remarkable career in Hollywood, marked by her versatile performances across various genres. Her talent and dedication to her craft earned her widespread acclaim from both audiences and critics alike. In 2018, her substantial contributions to the film industry were commemorated with a special day dedicated to her work during the TCM Summer Under the Stars event. Throughout her illustrious career, she graced the screen in several timeless classics, including three films that received nominations for the prestigious Oscar Best Picture category, A Midsummer Night's Dream, The Story of Louis Pasteur, and Anthony Adverse. Following her passing, she was laid to rest alongside her husband, Buddy Adler, at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale, California. Their final resting place stands as a testament to their enduring love and shared journey in both life and cinema. Anita Louise's legacy continues to inspire generations of actors and filmmakers, leaving an indelible mark on the history of Hollywood. Her contributions to the silver screen will be remembered and cherished for years to come. This tribute serves as a fitting homage to her remarkable talent and enduring impact on the world of film. Anita Louise, known for her role as a YMPA's baby star in 1931, once auditioned and screen-tested for the role of Scarlett O'Hara in Gone with the Wind, which eventually went to Vivian Lee. Despite this, she remained a prominent figure in Hollywood, hosting numerous parties attended by many top names in the film community over the years. She was a longtime social lioness in Hollywood circles. Her gatherings attracted the industry's elite, making her a central figure in the film community's social scene. Anita Louise's presence was felt across Hollywood, both on and off the screen, leaving a lasting impact on the industry. Anita Louise, a famous actress, left a lasting impression with her memorable roles. In her time, she played characters that people still love today. One of her best-known roles was as Madeleine de Nessy in a movie about Louis Pasteur. She played Louis Pasteur's wife and had a touching scene where she said, I'm proud of you, Louis. She also played Titania in a movie based on Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. As Titania, she enchanted audiences with her magical presence and delivered lines that people still remember. In Anthony Adverse, she showed her acting range by playing Angela Giuseppe, a character who faces many challenges. A memorable moment is when Angela says, I'll never give him up, never. In The Little Princess, she played Miss Rose, a kind and caring character who comforts the main character, Sarah Crewe, in a touching scene. And in Marie Antoinette, she portrayed Marie Antoinette's friend, Princess de Lambal, with grace. A notable moment is when she reflects, we're only girls, Marie. Dreams were all we had. Throughout her career, Anita Louise brought depth and authenticity to her roles, leaving a lasting impact on audiences worldwide. Her performances are still celebrated today, reminding us of her talent and contribution to cinema. Anita Louise portrayed Princess de Lambal in Marie Antoinette, she previously acted as Marie Antoinette in the film Madame du Barry. She attended Dwight D. Eisenhower's inauguration ceremony as a lifelong registered Republican. And they shoot horses, don't they? Said in 1932, Michael Saracen's character Robert mentions seeing a movie starring Anita and Richard Cromwell where she goes blind and dies of a brain tumor. However, Anita never acted in such a movie. She did star with Cromwell in Most Precious Thing in Life, 
and the villain still pursued her, but in neither did she play a character who goes blind and dies of a brain tumor. The film Dark Victory features Betty Davis in such a role, but Anita was not in that movie. Anita Louise received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in Hollywood, California in February 1960. She acted alongside Lou Ayers in two notable films, Heaven on Earth in 1931 and These Glamour Girls in 1939. She's well remembered for her acting skills. People still love watching her movies, showing how great she was as an actress. That's all from me. Anita Louise, a well-known actress, had a sad story behind her fame. Despite her success on screen, she faced health problems later in life. She died relatively young because of cancer, leaving behind a lot of fans. In her career, she acted in many movies and TV shows, playing different roles. People liked her because she could play romantic leads or strong supporting characters. But in her personal life, she struggled with problems, including the illness that eventually killed her. Anita Louise was born in 1915 and started acting when she was young. She became famous quickly in Hollywood. Even when the studio system declined, she kept working hard. Even though she's gone, Anita Louise's work is still remembered by people all over the world. Her sad story reminds us that life is fragile, even for famous actors. Though she's not with us anymore, she left her mark on Hollywood history. Anita Louise, a notable actress of her time, harbored a lesser-known sorrow. Despite her successful career in Hollywood, her personal life bore the weight of tragedy. Following the loss of her husband, Anita faced a devastating reality. She discovered that her husband, an American screenwriter, had been involved in espionage activities during World War II. The revelation left her grappling with a mix of shock and sadness overshadowing her professional accomplishments. This unforeseen turn of events added layers of complexity to Anita Louise's life, showcasing the tumultuous nature of fame and fortune. Despite the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, she endured a profound personal sorrow that remained largely hidden from the public eye. Anita Louise, a respected actress, had a lesser known but poignant aspect to her life. During her time in the entertainment industry, she faced personal tragedy with the loss of her husband, producer Buddy Adler, at a young age. This unexpected event left a lasting mark on her life, adding a layer of sadness to her otherwise successful career. Her career, marked by versatility, spanned various types of movies and TV shows. She starred in classic films such as A Midsummer Night's Dream and The Sisters. Despite achieving great success professionally, the sadness of her personal loss was always there. In the face of personal challenges, Anita Louise showed resilience, continuing her acting career with grace. Her ability to handle both the highs and lows of life demonstrated a strength that went beyond just acting. In conclusion, Anita Louise's life, while mainly celebrated for her work in entertainment, had its share of sadness due to the loss of her husband. This tragedy serves as a reminder of the difficult moments that can exist alongside fame.